so now we will discuss about how to take the input from the user and to take the input in the java you can use the inbuilt class and that is a scanner class and the scanner class is available in the java.util package let me save this file first so i'm just saving this file and i'm giving the name that input demo dot java this is my class and the name of the class is that is input demo now i want to write a main method over here i want to take the input from the user whenever you want to take the input you can use the import statement and that is java dot util dot you can import the class that is a scanner scanner class has a constructor so you can call the constructor scanner s is equal to new scanner and here you can pass system dot in so here using the new keyword you can create the instance of class scanner and that is s using s you can take the input from the user suppose if you want to uh, take the input that is integer value then you can call the function that is next integer suppose if you want to get the floating point value then you can use the function that is next float so here for example i'm just asking to the user system dot out dot print line and i want to ask to the user that enter the name so i'm just asking that enter your name so suppose if you want to store the name of the person in your variable you can write here that is a string name is equal to you can call the function s dot next line so next line is the function which is used to take the input in a string and you can print over here that is system dot out dot print line your name is equal to and here you can just print the name that is plus name here you can just remove this ln so it will be more interesting to see so i'm just compiling this program that is java c and you can write that is input demo dot java now you can write java input demo so it will ask you that enter your name for example i am just writing my name that is dr parag shukla then it will display that your name is equal to that is dr parag shukla so if you want to take the input as a name you can just use the function that is next line now i want to develop a simple program to calculate the simple interest and that is principal rate and number of years is required so whenever you want to calculate the simple interest you can do what let me save this program as that is a simple interest dot java now i want to declare here class is that is simple interest now again i am just simply creating an instance of scanner now i am asking to the user that system dot out dot print and that is enter how many years so you want to calculate the interest for how many years so this is the duration you can say so you can just write here integer number of years is equal to s dot next int so next int is the function which is used to get the input that is as an integer from the user then you can write that is we need number of years then we need the principal amount so enter principal amount so here we can write integer amount is equal to s dot next integer and we need a rate of interest so i'm writing here that is enter rate of interest so we all know rate of interest is in floating point so you can write here float rate is equal to s dot you can call the function that is next to float now i want to calculate the interest so i'm just writing here that is float interest is equal to principal amount multiply by rate multiply by number of years divided by 100 is equal to simple interest now here you can just print the message that simple interest is equal to and you can print here interest 
so now you can just simply save this program and you can compile so you can just compile this program java c simple interest dot java once it is compiled you can run your program that is java simple interest now it will ask me it is asking me how many years for example five years what is the principal amount for example principal amount is ten thousand and the rate of interest rate is for example 7.2 then the simple interest is equal to 3600